Hey everyone, thank you all for the wonderful reception on last week's video. And speaking of last week, I mentioned that I snagged a couple of indie games, Mortal Sin being one of them, and another game called Nightmare Reaper. Nightmare Reaper has been a game that I've been sinking a ton of hours into lately, mostly because it reminds me of a piece of my childhood. Now I grew up playing games like Quake, Doom, and Duke Nukem at way too young of an age, but something that really shined to me then and now was the unique retro look to those games. That pixelated art style that makes the enemy sprites just come to life. To me, the 90s hold some of the most cherished memories of all of my gaming, and I'm really glad to share another game that sprinkles a little bit of that nostalgia right back. Now despite the pixelated nature of its graphics, Nightmare Reaper incorporates detailed and vibrant pixel art designs. One thing I love about the use of level design in Nightmare Reaper is just how much of a variety there is. From eerie dungeons to surreal dreamscapes, everything is brought to life with its colorful pixel art. Even the enemies and the creatures featured in the game are also intricately designed to fit the retro aesthetic of the game as well. Something that I can say about the visual graphics is although it retains its retro look, its use of dynamic lighting, particle effects, and smooth animations help create a more engaging and immersive experience. This game also uses procedural generation for all its levels, so every level feels fresh and interesting. Even if you die, the level will generate a new seed essentially for a fresh new experience. Okay, enough about the graphics, let's get into the game. So what is Nightmare Reaper even about? You take on the role of an unnamed Reaper, a supernatural entity tasked with cleansing the world of evil creatures that have invaded people's dreams. Imagine a Doom Marine vs Freddy Krueger's army. Now when you aren't off in Dreamland, you are the patient, a disturbed young woman whose name is also currently unknown. With every level you beat, you spawn back in the hospital room, with another piece of her story unlocked read aloud to you by the doctor who is seemingly on your side. So that's basically the game in a nutshell, but what isn't shown is that this game has so much more hidden inside of it. Like, did you think that there would be a skill tree where to obtain said skill, not only would you need enough coins for it, but you'd also have to beat a Super Mario Bros. style platform game to get the skill? Now personally, I love this. Skills feel earned, and not to mention rewarding to get. Once I saw this, I was blown away. I don't think there's ever been a game that I've played that requires you to play a Mario style level that wasn't a Mario game. But guess what, it goes a little bit deeper. Let's just say Pokemon wasn't on my bingo card, but yet, there it is. I didn't go into this game even knowing this, and I loved every second of it. And I'll admit, having these little mini Game Boy games just to get cozy to while I fight demons in Hellspawn is pretty cool. So Nightmare Reaper classifies itself as an FPS with roguelike elements, and it also says that it's a looter shooter. Now upon your search for an escape from the nightmare itself, enemies will drop loot all randomized to about 80 different weapons to play with in your arsenal. Every weapon also has a chance to drop with a rarity and a special stat effect. Again, keeping the player engaged with a fresh and different experience every single time you play a level. I went from loving the standard 9mm pistol to getting lucky with a legendary book that shoots magic fireballs and burns all of my enemies to a crisp. The amount of fun you can have in this game seems endless. Weapons and gunplay mechanics happen to be something I love about most FPS titles. And this one has an interesting lineup from shotguns to rocket launchers that you can have a blast figuring out which works best for you. So if this boomer looter shooter seems like a game that you would also enjoy, then I would very much recommend Nightmare Reaper to you. And of course, since I mentioned some games from my childhood, let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite games from your childhood. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to show your support. My name is Zen, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you in the next one.